Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and it's been a while, but it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the studio filming these types of videos. Now, the first one that we're gonna be kicking off, I guess you could say the return, is gonna be taking a look at some brand new news from CCM. And a quick one before we jump into the video, please make sure that you thumbs up because it really helps us out. It lets a lot more eyes see the video and because this is a pretty big deal, a brand new fitting skate or a brand new fit system for skates, please make sure you thumbs up so we can get this video out to as many people as we possibly can. And before we start, make sure that you are also subscribed because a bunch of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So please thumbs up and subscribe because it does really help us out. Let's jump into it. Now, if you've been paying attention to what's been going on in hockey, you'll know that the style or the method of fitting skates, which has been to look at the length of your foot and then the width of your foot, length being if you're a size seven, a size eight, and then width being if you're a C, a D, an E, or a double E. This method only looks at fitting your feet as if they were a flat two-dimensional object, which we know isn't the case. Our feet are three-dimensional objects, and the way that skates fit, or that we are sized for our skates, should look at our feet as three-dimensional objects. So essentially, the way that you did it before was you looked at the length and the width, and if you needed extra volume in, say, the forefoot of the foot or the heel, that's where the different fit families of skate manufacturers came in. Now, traditionally, a lot of them have three or two, and that's exactly what those fit families were there to do, to accommodate for that three-dimensional or the volume of space inside the skate that your foot needed because our feet aren't flat. Now, when we look at CCM, they had three fit families, which was the jet speed, which was referred to as quite a narrow fit. They had the rib core, which was always described as a flexible fit, and then the super tax, which was a wide fit. But this style of looking at our feet as if they are two dimensional objects just wasn't catering to enough players. And there was a lot of the players that were experiencing discomfort, pinching, if it's lace bite or just general discomfort inside skates. So what has CCM done to remedy this? Now CCM has essentially introduced a brand new way to size our feet for skates and created a completely new fit system for their three fit families of skates. Now the biggest deal about this brand new fit system, this brand new sizing method that they've created for players to fit much better into their skates is the fact that looking at the different ranges of fit families, players couldn't really pick which skate that they wanted to use or which skate had the best features that they felt were best for them. You had to go with a skate that fit your feet the best. So if you had quite a narrow foot, but you really loved the features that were on the SuperTac skates, for example, the AS3 Pros, there was nothing that you could do about that. You wouldn't really fit very well into those skates. There'd be too much negative room inside the skate or essentially empty space, which wouldn't be optimal for your performance on the ice. So a narrow foot would automatically mean that you'd be looking at the jet speed probably, or if not, maybe the rib core range of skates. But with this brand new fit system, it essentially means that you can go with a skate that fits your style of play the best, which is a big, big deal because this isn't something that CCM has essentially been able to offer us before, unless you went down the route of custom skates, of course. But if we're talking about walking into a retail shop, picking up a pair of skates that fit you incredibly well and walking out, this didn't exist until now. So in terms of this brand new fitting system, what do we have? So we've got three different fits that are available on the jet speed range of skates and also the rib core range of skates. We're gonna to be touching on the super tax a little bit later on in the video. But when we look at what's available, you essentially have three different fits for each of the two families of skates. So when we look at the jet speed range, we have three different fit families within the jet speed and of course within the rib core range of skates. The first one is going to be a tapered fit. When we look at the four fit area of the skate, this could be referred to as a narrow fit. From there moving onto the heel, which can also be described as a narrow fit. And then lastly, looking at the general volume that the skate has inside it. Again, that's going to be low. The next fit option is gonna be a regular fit. When we look at the forefoot area, you could describe this as medium. From there, moving into the heel, again, we can describe this as medium. And of course, looking at the general volume that the skate has inside it, you guessed it, medium again. So when we compare this to the first fit option, which was the tapered fit, this is gonna have much more volume and much more space in all of the areas of the skates that we've described, VS, the tapered fit, which was the first one that we looked at. Moving on from there, it's gonna be the wide fit, which is the third and final fit option. Now this, as you guessed it, when we look at the heel and the forefoot of the skate, we could say high volume in both of these areas. And of course, same with the general volume inside the skate, it's gonna be much higher than the other two options that we've looked at, which was the tapered fit being the one with the least volume, the regular fit, which has a medium amount of volume, and lastly, the wide fit, which has the most amount of volume inside the skate. 
to hopefully kind of share a bit of insight into where these different fit families were inspired from. When we look at the tapered fit, which was the first and most narrow fit, we could loosely base this new fit system on a jet speed skate, which is quite a narrow fitting skate um, in a D width. Now this isn't saying that that is what this is. This is a clone of a jet speed skate in a D width moved and given a brand new name. We're just saying that essentially this is where this particular style of fit has been inspired from. That's the closest way that I can be able to link it to the old fitting system that we saw previously on CCM's generation of skates. Now, when we look at the regular fit, the way you could think of this would be is to compare it to, for example, a SuperTax in a D width. So as we know, the SuperTax skate has more volume traditionally than when we were to compare it, for example, against a jet speed range of skates. In terms of CCM's three fit families from the different ranges of skates that they offer, which is jet speed, rib core, and SuperTax, the SuperTax has always been the one that has the most volume. It's the widest fitting skate. So with the regular fit system from CCM, this could be loosely compared to a SuperTax in a D width. So you can think of that as when you move from jet speed to SuperTax, more volume. Now, when we look at the last option, which is the wide fit, the way you can think about this one is a super tax in a double E. Now this is, again, thinking about it very loosely. We're not saying that this is what it is. This is where this particular fit has been inspired from. Super tax being that widest fitting skate that CCM offer, double E being pretty much the widest fitting width that you can get off the shelf in pretty much any store globally. So that's a great way of thinking about these fits and how they are loosely related to the old fitting system that CCM once had. So if you're trying to figure out if this new fit system is going to make more sense moving forward and if it's going to cover a bigger portion of players, the short answer is yes. Previously, CCM have discovered that the traditional out-the-box fit and system that they had previously, which was the length of the skate and then the width of the skate, was covering roughly 75% of the player population straight out of the box, which meant that there was quite a large percentage of players that was left out that would have difficulty finding a skate that fit them just right without having to resort to custom. When we look at the brand new fit system from CCM, with all the data that's been gathered through scanning and also trialing this new fit system, CCM have found that they're gonna be getting about 95% coverage with this new fit system versus the previous fit system, which was only 75% of players out of the box. But you can see from the data that CCM have provided us with, it means that a bigger portion of players can walk into a hockey store and leave with a pair of skates off of the shelf that fits them much better than anything they might have had previously. Now, of course, if you remember, I mentioned that this new fit system would be rolled out on the jet speed range of skates and also the rib core range of skates. So what's going on with the super tax range of skates? Now, if you remember, the brand new AS3 Pros were not released that long ago. So what we can expect to see here is with the current AS3 Pros that are in stores everywhere, this is still gonna be using CCM's traditional fit method, which is the length and then the width of the skate. So you'll still see E, double E, D when you look at the AS3 Pros. But when you look at the FT4 Pros and all of the range of skates below that, or the brand new rib core skates, which are the 100Ks, what you'll see with that is the brand new fit system. So no more E, double E, or D on the skate's tongue. You're gonna to be seeing regular, tapered, or wide. So if you're wondering when the brand new fit system will be applied to the SuperTax range of skates, that'll be once the brand new range is announced, which I can expect will be sometime next year, where we will see the So something else that's really important that I wanted to touch on is that this new fit system isn't CCM just rebranding the current sizing options that they have and then getting rid of a bunch of other sizes. That's not what's happening here. The new fit system opens up much more options for players to be able to find a skate that fits them a lot more comfortably. But most importantly, you don't have to be directed into a certain range of skates, for example, jet speed, because you have narrow feet or super tax because you have wide feet. You can now pick based on which skate suits your performance and playing style the best. But of course, a lot of us are gonna be picking which skate we like the look of the best. I've been in jet speeds since they launched, and because of this new fit option, I'm going straight into Ribcore because I love the way the 100K skates look, I love the fact that they're one piece, and I love everything about the way that they perform and feel, so I'm going straight into those skates. But when we look at the different features that each of the skate families offers, this is where we can help you to kind of identify which line of CCM skates is gonna be the best one for yourself. The way the different families of CCM skates breaks down to is when we look at jet speed, very similar to now the hockey stick, the jet speed hockey stick, it's a hybrid fitting skate. So this is gonna be that skate that's gonna be great for speed, but also generally pretty much any other player that's on the ice. I feel like this is gonna be the skate that the majority of the CCM athletes or players that love CCM products are gonna be in based on the fact that it's a hybrid. It fits with so many different playing styles. Um, and it's the skate that I've been in, of course, for the longest of periods of times using CCM. 
Now, when we look at the rib core range of skates, that is referred to as the agility skate. This is based on its construction, where it's stiffened, where it allows flexion. That's why the skate is referred to as the agility skate. So those players that are very, very quick on their feet, that make really quick sudden changes, that like to be very maneuverable on the ice, this will be the skate out of the three different options that would be optimized for your style of moving and playing on the ice. Now, of course, last but not least is going to be the Super Tax. This is going to be the stiffest of the three different families that CCM has. And this is going to be for those players that take those big, powerful strides. Again, it's going to be looking at power and also speed, but it's kind of looking at the way that the player moves on the ice. We can actually break this down in a little bit more detail. So when we look at, for example, the Super Tax, this is going to be that full stride, speed, the whole idea behind the skate is to generate as much force and power as the player can, and the stiff construction of the skate is optimized to do that. Now, giving you a little bit more insight into the jet speed range of skates, it's gonna be based around acceleration. Of course, looking back again at quick feet. So the features of the skate, where it's been stiffened, all of this is to optimize the type of player that wants to have quick acceleration that really optimizes that particular skill and likes to have quick feet. So what that looks like or how it breaks down on the ice would be the type of player that has those quick explosive starts and perhaps a player that also accelerates through their stride. Now, when we look at the rib core range of skates, this is gonna be the softest construction that CCM offers with their one piece boots. Now, what this one is looking at specifically is gonna be edge work, balance and mobility. So this is gonna be that type of player that does, for example, two foot turns, pivoting, turning really quickly, quick starts and stops and just generally very maneuverable on the ice. Now you keep hearing me reference the fact that these skates have different stiffnesses in terms of how stiff the actual one piece construction of the boot is. CCM have actually created an index to help us better understand how the stiffness works with these skates. When we look at the jet speed range of skates, in this case, the FT4 Pro, on CCM's stiffness index, it's ranked at a 195, which is to indicate how stiff the body of the skates construction is. From there, when we look at the rib core range of skates, the stiffness of this particular skate being the 100K Pros is 180 on CCM's stiffness index. And lastly, we look at the Super Tax, in this case, the AS3 Pro. On CCM's stiffness index, this is ranked as a 215. So hopefully this helps you to identify which one of these skates is the stiffest and by what margin. So if you're the type of player that wants that for a skate, you know where you need to be looking. And if you're a player that wants something that's a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more flexible, you know exactly where you need to be looking. So as always, hopefully this video has given you all of the information that you need. This is kind of like a quick guide on everything that a player should know about CCM's new fit before you go out and buy. Wherever possible, visit a hockey store, try these new fits on to see which one fits your feet the best. But as always, a big thank you to CCM for making the video possible. A big thank you to you for watching all the way to the end. And if there's anything that I've missed, please hit me up in the comment section so I can help by answering any questions that you might have. But if you want a more detailed video explaining the fit and the new construction of these skates in more detail, please let me know. But of course, the videos that are gonna be following on from here is gonna be a comparison looking at the brand new FT4 Pros against the predecessors, which are the FT2s. And of course, the brand new Ribcore 100K Pro skates against the previous generation, which was the 80K. There are so many upgrades with that skate and I can't wait to get into it. But thank you for watching guys. A bunch of new videos are on the way. Make sure that you thumbs up, subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that we post. Our Instagram link is down below so you can see what we get up to on a daily basis, what kind of happens behind the scenes. And also we give a lot of information about products and upcoming videos as well. So make sure that you're subscribed to make sure you give a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care guys.